ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நம ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ் கண்டென்ட் ஆன் ஏஎல்பி சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் அஸ்ட்ராலஜி ஆஸ் வி ஆர் ஆல்ரெடி லுக்கிங் அட் மெனி கான்செப்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் நோ மெனி காம்பினேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபார்முலா ரிலேட்டட் டு ஏஎல்பி சிஸ்டம் ஆஃப் அஸ்ட்ராலஜி ஸோ ஒன் ஆஃப் தி வைட்லி ஆஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃபார் அஸ் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு ஹாரோஸ்கோப் டெலினேஷன் ஆர் தி கிளைண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ வி சி டு ரீட் தி ஹாரோஸ்கோப் இஸ் about the career related matters so in the present trend everybody is concerned about their careers in one or the other way so henceforth we are bringing this video where in a very simplistic way we can understand how alp gives a better understanding about the career and profession whenever the alp travels in each and every quadrant of nakshatra according to the natal's karma so in order to analyze this definitely we need to know the basics understanding of astrology and also the alp learners need to understand the traveling and also the rules and conditions that is involved when alp shifts from one lagna to another lagna according to the natal's age so Yes, Padudai Murthy, the founder has given the most simplistic role just by considering the Nakshatra Lords and the Bhava Lords and their impacts over a period of time which clearly indicates the positive and the negative effects where the natal will undergo over a period of time exclusively pertaining to the matter of profession here. in this chart we can clearly understand the birth lagna of the natal falls in makar rashi in uttarashada nakshatra second quadrant the natal is 25 years at the time of horoscope delineation at this point of time the alp has traveled from makar rashi to meen rashi falling in the nakshatra quadrant of revati nakshatra first quadrant so here let us look at the profession of the natal at this point of time we can clearly understand the alp has traveled to the third house from the birth lagna as per the rules of alp we can understand the present situation for the natal will completely be with respect to the third house because alp has traveled from birth lagna to the third house to birth lagna so third house would be house of efforts profession marriage communications and most of the third house karakatvas with respect to the conditions and rules of alp system so here we can understand that alp has traveled to third bhava and this bhava lord the alp bhava lord is jupiter who is getting placed in the third house again to alp so here planet jupiter becomes the significator of alp lagna and also the 10th house to alp he becomes the significator of 1 and 10 and he is present in the third house so what this clearly indicates is at the time travel of alp lagna in purva bhadra nakshatra meen rashi starts from purva bhadra nakshatra here the lagna lord is jupiter and the nakshatra lord also becomes jupiter here because purva bhadra nakshatra is governed by planet jupiter in understanding alp in a much more simpler way what we can consider is the alp lagna lord will always serve as a vehicle the alp lagna bhava will serve as the karmic path where the natal will travel with respect to his age and the alp nakshatra quadrants or the nakshatras which are present in that respective bhava 
and their lords will act as drivers whenever the ALP point travels in those respective nakshatra quadrants. So here when ALP starts travelling in Purva Bhadra nakshatra 4th quadrant that is where the mean, mean Rashi starts at this point of time we can see the Lagna Lord and also the Nakshatra Lord where the vehicle and also the driver becomes planet Jupiter. So planet Jupiter is getting placed in third bhava. So what we can understand here is at this point of time the natal will completely be oriented towards its efforts because as per the bhava rules of ALP the bhava 3, 6, 9, 12 will indicate paternal karma or the karma which has been imbibed from the father's side and also these are the bhavas which tell about the future aspects. So we can predict the horoscope by considering the 3, 6, 9, 12 bhavas which indicates the future of the natal. So here also we can clearly understand the ALP Lagna Lord and ALP Nakshatra Lord is getting placed in the third house. So henceforth at this point of time the natal will completely be oriented on his efforts pertaining to his future plannings. And also this combination will totally serve as a combination of paternal karma because the house, third house where the ALP has travelled to third house from the birth lagna and also the placement of Jupiter is placed in the third house to ALP indicating three, three to three bhavas combination which is completely indicated by paternal karma. So at this point of time, let us look at the professional aspects of the natal, how the professional would have been when ALP travelled in Purva Bhadra Nakshatra. So while ALP is travelling in Purva Bhadra Nakshatra, we can clearly understand Jupiter becomes the Lord of 1 and 10th Lord and he is getting placed in the 6th house to the 10th house. Jupiter is getting placed to the 6th house to the 10th house. So henceforth we can understand for the ALP natal, this is the bhava which tells about the natal, for him the placement of Jupiter is in a good placement that is his efforts are very positive and very strong whereas that efforts is not in a supportive state when it comes to the matter of career and profession here because the 10th Lord Jupiter is getting placed in the 6th house to the 10th house. So here we can clearly understand at this point of time the natal should start indulging in the matters of service. So if he chooses a profession or a career where it is very much oriented towards the service matters and service aspect that would be very successful and also we can suggest another important uh, you know career opportunity here for the natal is to take up the competitive exams so any profession that includes examinations or any competition related kind of things that needs to be cleared in order to get a profession such kind of profession can be suggested for this natal as Jupiter is getting placed in the 6th house to the 10th house. So this is how the profession would have been when the Purva Bhadra Nakshatra time period when ALP Nakshatra is travelling in Purva Bhadra. So now let us see the next Nakshatra that is Uttara Bhadra. So the entire four quadrants of Uttarabhadra nakshatra will fall in Meenarashi and here we can see the next change of driver here would be Lord Saturn. So the governing lord for Uttarabhadra nakshatra is Lord Saturn and Uttarabhadra nakshatra lord is getting placed in the 
fifth house to ALP. So what we can clearly understand here is the Star Lord Saturn is placed in fifth house which is a good placement but he becomes the placement at eighth house to tenth house. The Nakshatra Lord, the ALP Nakshatra Lord is getting placed in the eighth house to tenth house which also indicates at this point of time regarding the career aspects of the natal would be very tight. So here also planet Saturn also indicates the service henceforth even at this point of time if the natal gets indulged in a career which is very much oriented towards service will only be positive and will only be an apt career or a profession to the natal when the ALP started travelling in Uttarabhadra Nakshatra. This is completely because the placement of Saturn is in the 8th house to the 10th house. Even though the planet Saturn is getting in the 5th house to ALP where 5th house is the house of desires but he is getting placed in the 8th house to 10th house. So the natal should start accepting the placement of Saturn in the 5th house as is karma in order to boost up his profession in the terms of services. So at the present situation let us see the ALP is placed in Revati Nakshatra first quadrant. So the next driver here would be Lord Mercury. So planet Mercury is getting placed in the seventh house to ALP that too in an exalted position. exalted position and this positioning of Mercury to ALP is considered to be very good and auspicious as the Nakshatra Lord getting placed in the 7th house. 7th house positioning is considered to be very auspicious in, in the rules of ALP system and here we can now understand that the placement of Mercury becomes 10th to 10th Bhava. So to 10th to 10th Bhava with the aspect of Lagna Lord. With the aspect of Lagna Lord and also the aspect of Saturn on the Nakshatra Lord of ALP. So here we can clearly understand the service orientation or the service work what the natal would have performed during the time period of Uttarabhadra Nakshatra and Purvabhadra Nakshatra will all start giving results when the ALP travels in the Revati Nakshatra. So here as we have earlier told that this entire 10 years of time period the natal would have completely got a mindset of only future planning. All those future planning will start giving results at this point of time when ALP Nakshatra becomes Revati as the Nakshatra Lord is getting placed in a very good position to ALP. So at this point of time the career boosting and the career change and career and profession related matters would be very auspicious and very comfortable and positive to the natal as per his expectations. So this is how just by considering the ALP Lagna Lord and the Nakshatra Lord and their placements with respect to the Bhava, we can understand the positioning and their results in order to analyze the horoscope. So this is one of the simplistic role given by the founder S. Pradudai Murthy to understand the horoscope in a better way by, application, by, applica by applying the ALP rules and regulations. I hope you are able to follow this and we will come back with more set of informations and more set of combinations in further more episodes. Until then stay tuned, keep following ALP, keep practicing ALP and don't forget to subscribe our channel. This is Rupesh, ALP Astrology pra Practitioner and a Research Pupil from Inventors team. Thank you, Sarvam Shivam.